Hey, it's Randy Miles, and it is Tuesday, so that means it's Take Control Tuesday with Mansa Musa from MoneySmartLife.org. Mansa, we've been on this series it's called the COVID-19 Pandemic Financial Experience Scale, and today we're going to talk about the second scale. Let's dive in. Yeah, basically... As far as working class people go, everybody is not experiencing this pandemic in the same way from a financial standpoint. And we developed a scale that has three benchmarks on it. Mm -hmm. Today, we want to talk about the second mode, and that's the treading mode. The first mode was the survival mode. This mode is the treading mode. And basically, we use the analogy of you know, when you're treading water, you know, the goal is to keep your head above water. Now, I used to be a water safety instructor back in the day, and there's two kinds of ways to tread. For example, okay. if you're in a swimming pool and you can see the side, that's one thing. But if you fall off a boat and you have to tread a distance, that's what we're talking about here. The ability mm. to keep your head above water, conserve your energy, while you're making progress. And let's look at how you do this from a financial point of view in this situation. First of all, let's define what the treading mode is. For you, this crisis is disruptive, but it's not destructive. Okay. You have some reserves and a safety net. You are experiencing diminished income. For the most part, you can maintain your lifestyle with a combination of reduction of non-essential expenses and subsidies from your stockpiles of food and finances. That's the safety net that you build. Mm -hmm. However, those resources are finite. They're not going to last forever. So here's some of the things you can do to help you survive, not just survive, but move and make progress during this pandemic. First of all, pay your bills on time, especially credit cards. They're a crucial part of your safety net. If this thing goes longer than expected, you want to have as flexible a safety net as possible. So keep your credit cards paid. Even mm -hmm. if you're just paying the minimum, pay them on time. Consider forbearances and other payment assistance options that are out there. But here's the thing. If you take a forbearance, and maybe you should, remember a deferred payment is not a never payment. Right. And you're going to have to pay the thing back at some point, but it might be the smart move right now. The next thing you need to do is in those forbearance situations, whatever promises you make to your creditors, be sure and keep them. Because if you have to go back for help again and you've broken your word, they're not as likely to be as helpful. So keep that in mind. Exactly. Now, the next thing you want to do in treading mode is invoke austerity measures. By that, I mean you've got to change your lifestyle. You've got to fund needs and not wants. Listen, no one knows how long this pandemic is going to last for you. Right. You know, it's gotten personal now, right? Especially yeah. financially, depending on where you are in the economy, you don't know how long it's going to take for you to bounce back. So what we encourage people to do is prepare for a long, slow recovery and be wrong. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's what you need to do. And finally, Randy, the last thing you can do is keep your head up. In this atmosphere of stress, depression, and anxiety, keeping your head up is the way you're going to make it. And you're going to do that with self care. Yes. You cannot neglect and ignore self care at your own peril and at the peril of those around you. So by treading, if you take care of yourself, you incorporate these things, what treading is, is exerting and reserving energy, but exerting a minimum amount of energy, maintaining your reserves as long as possible as you move toward a desired end. Okay. And that future can be yours 
and it includes financial well-being. So once again, go to the blog site, moneysmartlife.org, any of our network sites, TakeControlTuesday.com, YouTube, Facebook, etc. Take a look at it. We're trying to help people get through this financial disruption and location caused by this pandemic. Absolutely, we are. Hey, Manta, thank you so much for all your information. Thank you.